Doppler effect with sound. The source of the sound moves. Consider sound waves being produced by a stationary source, an ambulance siren. The listener is also stationary. Sound waves are longitudinal waves with compressions and rarefactions. The sound emitted by the ambulance siren travels in all directions at the same speed. The waves are indicated as concentric circles moving outwards. The changes in air pressure can also be used to represent the sound waves. Each blue circle represents the center of a compression and each red circle represents the center of a rarefaction. The distance between the centers of two successive compressions represents the sound's wavelength. The speed of sound in a medium is constant, so the sound's frequency determines its wavelength. When the waves reach the listener, the wavelength is the same as that emitted by the hooter. Hence, the sound heard by the listener has the same frequency as the sound produced by the source. Now, the source of the sound, the ambulance, moves towards the listener with a constant velocity. The sound waves emitted by the siren still travel in all directions at the same speed. However, since the source is moving, the compressions in front of it will be closer together and the compressions behind it will be further apart. Therefore, the wavelength of the sound heard by the listener as the ambulance approaches will be shorter. The waves are catching up with previously emitted waves. In other words, there are more waves arriving per second than when the ambulance was stationary. This increased frequency is heard as a higher pitched sound. Now the source of the sound has passed the listener and is moving away from him. The compressions behind it will be further apart. This happens because the ambulance is moving away from the waves it has emitted. Therefore, the wavelength of the sound heard by the listener will be longer. In other words, there are fewer waves arriving per second than when the ambulance was stationary. This decreased frequency is heard as a lower pitched sound. Note that the actual frequency of the sound emitted by the ambulance siren is the same in all the cases. It is only the apparent frequency or the frequency perceived by the listener that changes.